Ah. So you can see. That's cool, it just slips right off. Slips right off. That's cool. Nice, look at that, it just comes right off. All right, so um, we have the s work Aries over here. So as you can see, plurally white, but as you all know, after two or three seasons, it's gonna get really dirty. So I was just talking to one of my friends and he has an auto shop and he says that he has something that can help protect it, like a coating, you know how they do coatings on a car. So today we're gonna go check out uh, his shop and see what we can do. Let's go. I think they're currently like coating a car, but we'll see if he has time, we'll see. This is his shop. Hey V. Hey, how you doing? hey guys, how are you going? Hey, hey Jerry, how's so, it going, man? sub, sub, sub. How's it going? Hey, check this out. White. Oh, cool. Pearly white. Cool. All right. All right, hey guys. So this is Jerry, my good buddy here, and this is his shop. So I'll let him do a, a message for you guys. Yeah. So we do uh, ceramic coatings here at Model Ceramic. Um, we do tinting, uh, wraps, PPF, anything you want for uh, for Teslas. Uh, other vehicles as well, but mostly we're working with Teslas right here where, uh, as you can see, Miha's doing a little tint job here for the uh, for a Model 3. So uh, <laughs> it's, quite a, it's quite a job here, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys have any like Tesla related like needs, be sure to check out Model Ceramic here in Richmond. I'll, I'll put the information in the description below. So yeah, definitely give Jerry a shout yeah. and check it out. Yeah, for sure. So um, I think what we're gonna do is CarPro Leather 2.0. Okay. So we have a couple different options here. Um, I think the CarPro Leather 2.0 would probably be the best because it's uh, flexible. So that way when you're riding through any rain or anything like that, you'll be fully protected. It's gonna beat up. There's not gonna be any um, watermarks or anything like that. So Jerry, to my knowledge, you yep. have yours coated, like your no, shoes coated? As not, well? not these oh, shoes not these. in particular, but I did coat my other white shoes best decision ever like you're not getting any um any water on it like it's just pretty, pretty much a vessi cool <laughs> that's cool yeah so we're just gonna do a quick little uh, ipa wipe here these are really cool they got carbon fiber at the bottom really lightweight yeah so apparently these ones are one percent faster than all the other shoes out there one percent but... faster <laughs> yeah i don't know how you justify how did they <laughs> how did they come up with this number <laughs> i think it's more like marketing that's cool <laughs> yeah. i'm one point zero point one percent faster okay that's good. Um, okay, so we're ready to coat now. Awesome. Maybe you can just hold on sure. to that while I... So like a traditional coating, like we have our CK, um, uh, C-Quartz UK 3.0. This is uh, for paint. So it's not gonna be as effective when it comes to a flexible surface. So that's why I would recommend the uh, Leather 2.0 here. See. So what we do is we like you can even just use like a microfiber towel. You don't need to use like a little spongy thing. Yeah. But um, what we do is we soak one side, make sure it's covered. Then we can, there's quite a bit on here. So what we'll do is we'll start with one shoe. Coat the leather surfaces at least in here. Yeah, wow, that's really cool. Honestly, you can't even tell. You that can't tell, like... honestly. That's probably the best part about this, yeah. is you can't tell. So here's a side by side, like, you can barely tell, right? That's cool. So, how long does it last, do you know? Um, for leather seats, it can last up to uh, one year. Oh, that's good. Uh, for shoes, it, um, it might be a little bit different. It could be more, it could be less, depending on how you ride it as well. But with seats, um, you're definitely going to be using it differently. I see. But cool. it really helps with the dye transfer of genes um, to prevent that as well. So we'll actually do two coats. Okay. So we'll do that one, complete this one. Sure. And we'll do a little bit more here. So yeah, differences. Cool. Doesn't smell either. <laughs> I can load nice. this up for you. Yeah. So maybe later on, so we'll know Jerry coated the left side. So maybe later <laughs> on, if the right side's more dirty, we know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there Let's you go. See. I loaded the pad up for you. Cool. So we just basically rub it around the whole. Yeah, you can rub it around the whole thing. Just nice. Is there a specific direction that you need to travel in? Or like um, no, usually when we're doing cars, what we do is a cross hatch pattern. So we do left to right and then top down. 
Okay. But for shoes, like it's just such a complex therapist, so I won't be able to probably do that. So. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just, <laughs> my skills are inferior to Jerry. <laughs> hey, so how do you know, like, how do you keep track of where you have coded though? Like, cause right now I'm already lost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, usually we start from one end, but again, with a shoe, like mm -hmm. I just pretty much went over this shoe as many times as I can. Oh, just That way, like if I'm going to miss a spot, I'd have to miss it five times, which I don't think I will. I see. So I think I've covered everything. I think. So, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's so slippery. It is. Holy. It gets really slippery after. Wow. And especially because there's nowhere to hold. Uh huh. But 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 we should be wearing gloves next time. We'll okay. wear gloves. That way it helps out and uh, doesn't good. get our get our hands too dirty. But all right, Jerry. So what do you think? It looks good. Did I think. Pass? I think it looks Sweet. good. Nice. My first coding experience. Great. We can do a little uh, leveling. So leveling just means wiping off the access, yes, right? Yes, so just wiping off the access. This is especially handy for, you know, those white sneakers? Like I bought the, like those white sneakers and then that's what I coated it. So oh, nice. Pretty nice. Helps with the resale value too, right? Uh, I guess so, if I'm, I don't, I don't intend to sell it, but if I did, it looks super white at least. Oh, nice. Perfect. There you go. And then I'll awesome. level that one as well. Thank I don't you. think I did. So you only have about uh, 20 minutes to level it. So. Okay, so after 20 minutes. It'll... After 20 minutes, I'll probably cure already, but it's just a good idea to wipe it off as early as you can. I see. Each product's a little different as well, but I can tell it's super slick. Nice. Super slick now. So that's it? That's it. Wow, that's, that's fast. It. Yeah, yeah in less than 20 easy. minutes. So yeah, thank you, Jerry. Yeah, no and worries. I'll keep you guys updated, or maybe like a year update, see how these shoes last. And sure. then, yeah, if you guys are interested, be sure to check out Model Ceramic here for any Tesla cars or even shoes. Yeah, if you have any questions, anything about Tesla's, we pretty much know. We've been working with it for a long time, so uh, feel free to give us a DM. Yeah, I'll put their link in the description below and make sure to like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, so something that we do here at Model Ceramic is we completely remove the headliner. So you can see these two panels are right behind me here. Um, this is to protect the delicate electronics, especially this component right here. Uh, we actually want to be really, really careful not to get any water in that. So we completely mask it off. So you'll see me just do that here. So there, now it's completely protected. Um, and then also we don't want too much water in the dash as well. So we use our soak rope here. We'll push that in just to uh, protect the rest of the car as well from water. And then finally, the most funniest thing is we use a hair mask. Because <laughs> otherwise, um, a lot of debris can end up on the top roof here. But uh, that's how we prep the car. We completely clean it and then we put the film on and it uh, comes out perfect every time.